time, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23, man. That boy Mike Wong been tweeting. I said he been tweeting. Zong was right. We making a million videos off of these Mike Wong tweets. And we're going to interpret them for you guys because that's what the community wants. But at the same time, Zong, we're going to make a million videos off of your content too. I ain't even going to count to you, my boy. So if y'all do nothing else, man, make sure y'all like the video, man. Because every time you guys like the video, it helps us get closer and closer to that oh-so-coveted 100K. And without further ado, let's get this video underway. So check it out, man. I ain't even starting my background plan, man. Bro, that's supposed to have been started. It was supposed to be gone. Hey, look, we make mistakes. It is what it is. We fall down, but we get up. Hey, check it out, man. Speaking of which, uh, if you watch the Zars latest stream, he said he came back and said, uh, he talked about the adrenaline boost. And he was saying from as it stood at that point in time, because the game is fluid, the game is not a live service as in like Apex Legends and stuff like that, where it's, where it's just a game and they're constantly changing it or what have you. But it does have some live aspects to it. So it's, it's constantly in flux. So it's not live as in where like, you know, Apex, we just get updates, updates, updates. They never put out another game, but it is constantly in flux throughout the year when we are, when we're playing it. So uh, things can change. Things are always subject to things. Things are always subject to tuning. So we all need to be mindful of that and stop saying stuff like, oh, they lied when they said this, they lied when they said that. Well, they may have fully intended to go this direction and then they saw something that was an issue with it. And so, you know, we have to pull back and go. And that's what Mike is talking about on this tweet right here, man. He's talking about the adrenaline boost, man. Let your adrenaline rush. If y'all know who's saying that song, man, I'm gonna give away. Hey, check this out, man. We're gonna give away some uh, VC. Uh, but we ain't gonna talk about it right now. Anyway, check it out. Mike Wong says, two NBA 2K23, adrenaline boost are restored on shot clock resets. Good, not changing possession, but shot clock resets. Uh, also torn with the idea of slowly replenishing one or two if you slow down and wait long enough. From next maker's feedback, uh, we are also going to support boost on defense. Uh, so, so that means they're going to make changes. That it, it wasn't they weren't being consumed then, but they are now. Steal and block attempts will cost a boost, and that's something that I was talking about, and I felt like should be in the game, man. Steal and block attempts should should cost you a boost. We don't want people in the corner spamming, 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 spamming all day long. Like, if, if you own the ball and you try to steal the ball three times, we already, we, a good player going to be able to tell, well, he reached three times, he's done. Now I can just go to the rim and just lay this ball up all willy-nilly because I know there's not a lot he's going to be able to do. And uh, Mike supports that by saying, he says, when you use up your defensive boost, you'll, be, you'll, you'll get a drop in your steal and block ratings. Hopefully this gets rid of some of the spamming. So I definitely think it's gonna get rid of some of the spamming because a lot of times, especially in Pro-Am and stuff, man, you got dudes, they're not hitting the button when somebody passes the ball at them. It's like my boy Coyote said, people are out there pressing the button just because a pass happened and they're hoping that it's gonna come at them and, and you know, what have you. So now if it's gonna happen on block attempts, I seriously hope it's gonna happen on pump fake attempts also because we can't have people in the paint pump fake, pump fake, pump fake, pump. We can't have that. So it's gonna have to have some to counter box, counteract that or what have you. But uh, maybe Poco Stick is something that's gonna be able to help that out. But I am so happy that we got this where he's saying that you are, I, I do feel like defense does need to be able to sprint around and have their speed boost at their, le le at their leisure because no matter what, you're going to be chasing somebody around. So when I'm reacting to what you're doing, yeah, I definitely kind of need the unlimited sprint. But it's kind of like what Zaw was saying. On offense, you know where you're going. I don't know where you're going. So I have to react to you. And because I got to react to you, obviously, I'm going to need to be, you know, like, that's why I was saying, like, stuff like foot planting and all that. Like, the defense, we we don't want to slide around, so we want foot plant, but the offense don't want foot plant because they want to just be able to slide around. And with the offense sliding around, you get what we had like this year, sprint one way, sprint one way, and that's going to automatically give the offense an, an advantage. So like when we're asking for things, we really got to think about what we're asking for. And I completely agree with that. But like you said, hopefully that's going to take down some of the spamming. It probably won't. This is a 2K community. We're going to probably try to figure out a way uh, around it or whatever. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, Sipping Apple Juice asks if boost refresh every possession. Does that mean if I lose a boost or two on defense, when we get the ball back on offense, my boost will come back? And that's just like how it is now where, you know, half of your 
you know, half of you, um, you know, you'll be down to almost zero stamina. But on change of position, you get like half the bar back or a quarter of the bar back. You get a good amount. But Mike just says, yes, your boost will be refilled completely on either offense or defense when change of possession occurs. And I think that's dope. And I think that just having people having to think about how they're going to use their defense and stuff like that. Because like I said, now Anonymous is really going to be set. Bro, quit reaching. Because if you keep reaching, keep reaching, you're not going to have anything left for the ch to chase down or what have you. And we already know how that works with uh you know with, with all this stuff man so it is what it is up next man you know we got uh we got mike's answering answering some something else uh the the guy paul Pauly 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 g I, I can't say his name can you use boost after i mean can you use a speed boost after your main stamina bar is drained for instance in the lonzo ball clip and then mike he comes up and he says yes and no um he says an empty stamina bar will smack your ratings if you still have adrenaline boost, well not this year, because you definitely can still dump that ball. If you still have adrenaline boost available and your stamina, I mean, uh, you'll still have your normal explosive launches, and they'll, but they'll be slower uh, than if your stamina was full. Empty adrenaline boost feels way slower than empty stamina bar though. So more or less what he's saying is, even if you run all the way out of stamina, uh, all the way out of uh, stamina, then you can still adrenaline boost and uh, you know you can still use your speed bar and you can still go at the rim but you're probably not gonna be able to finish or you probably be able to get open but your ratings are gonna be so bad what would you really want to do that I think that it's gonna be a very very good cat and mouse game between how the how everybody's gonna have to dribble and how everybody's gonna have to do all types of stuff man because it's not just gonna be brainlessly sprinting around anymore if you want to sprint around if you want to come off somebody or do something or or like how we bait down and then we go back you when you go back and try to reach back or if you reach yourself out of the plate now you're gonna have to sprint back and then maybe that guy's not there so you're gonna have to try to sprint you know it's gonna make some stuff and then maybe you'll be on defense with no bars and now you're not gonna be have a hope of getting that chase down it's gonna be a dope thing man um up next he's talking about the core badge uh, dude said deep dive into the core badge a little bit and Mike says every badge has a has an associated challenge i.e. you might have to hit x number of threes in order to get it when completed you can slot that badge in a in a core slot which won't count toward your badges points and i think that's dope man because it's like i feel like that core badge is gonna be like be like this is your identity almost that's who i really am this is who i am i'm that guy this is what I do. If I'm a corner specialist, you put corner specialist on. If you a hot zone hunter, won't be there. If I'm a deep range dead eye, if I'm a uh, if I'm a limitless range shooter, I put limitless range there. I don't have to worry about that stuff because because this is who I am. That's my identity. I feel like that's what they're going for, and uh, but I don't think it has anything to do with your takeover or anything like that, man. But hey, random question right here, man. Sorry for the incredibly specific question, but I'm dying to know. As someone who struggles to find a consistent jump shot for the past few years, I finally landed. Ended on T Mac, Trey Burke base, and uh, you know, Kobe release. We might have to put that out. That might be fine. I noticed he has his own shot this year. Is it the same shot? And he says, T Mac's new shot. Uh, T Mac has a new shot. He actually came in to mocap it for us this year. And then, um, you know, so it is what it is, man. So I don't know what they really got to do with what we're doing right now, but you know, it is what it is. And last but not least, before we get to talking about some of this other stuff, man, um, you know, Castle asked. For NBA 2K23, since we won't have, since we won't know whether we shot a green or not until after the shot, are you all removing the green light animations? And Mike says we redesigned them uh, to play under different circumstances, but they're still in the game. And I feel like stuff like that, man. Like I, I, I don't care about the, the actual green light after, after every shot because I think that is something that is played as courses it's, it's it's done we we done with that if you know because you used to have to do it yourself and now it just does it after every time i like that they have it playing under different circumstances because they don't want you to know because you know what people would normally do right they'll be like well i um you know i just put on this green light animation and then i'll be able to see my i'll be, be able to tell if it's green or not uh early or whatever and then you know so they still want look at that boy down there on the boards man so you know they'll do whatever they want to but i feel like the way that this is maybe it's going to be stuff like different circumstances like the game winning green or or stuff like that because sometimes you do want it to play like you know with like a little bit of that a little bit of that it's pretty it's so pretty you know somebody just leave it up there white man can't jump stuff like that so i, I feel like that 
is something that I feel like that's something that's gonna be dope. I also feel like I also feel like um, the adrenaline boost and the cat and mouse game that's gonna be able to even if the bars come back and they come back slowly. As long as you have to have a full bar in order to use the bar at all, I think that even that's balanced because, like I said, but I mean, I really don't, I, I can't imagine, like, like the only person I could think that's going to be able to get some of his bars back is like if I run down court and I run to the corner and then I stand still in the corner for a little bit, right? If I stand still in the corner for a little bit, I can see the bar coming back. But if I'm a point guard that's continuously just bop, 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 I, I don't understand why it would come back. But with the bars being on defense, I think that's something that's dope and I think it's much needed because you got you have to balance it out some way. You gotta punish the defense for some reason. And like and like Zar was saying, shoot, we can see those bars, but if we can see them, then you know what I'm saying, why can we see them if they're not gonna be consumed? So as we said, the adrenaline bars will be consumed on reaches and on block attempts. So you're not gonna be able to just run and run behind people and try to block everything. You're not gonna be able to try to get every steal. You're not gonna be able to try to do everything. And I, I feel like that's a good thing. And I also feel like it's a good thing for those bars to be consumed on offense. So you can't just go for everything. They got, you can't, bro, it's not even feasible to go for every rebound, take the shot, go for the rebound, get the board, kick it out, run back out, set the screen, run off ball, Cut to the rim, like all oh, that's not even feasible. You gotta limit the offense in some way, but I like the fact that they're countering it with the defense some way also. Like I said, man, if we see a whole bunch of people that are mass exiting, at exodusing back to the uh, current gen, you know that they they were not about this life that they claim that they're about, where they want more challenging gameplay and things that make sense. They're not about that, man. They just want to look better than the people that they're playing against. And that's really what it is. That's what it is. But hey, it is what it is, man. Y'all let me know, know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is this something that's good? Or is this something that's not? Like I said, Mike Wong tweeting again. It's a beautiful thing. We're going to talk about what Zara's talking about tomorrow with the body up. And other than that, man, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ.